Hey everybody, this video is brought to you by the good folks over at ArmorCat, makers of quality cat trees for over 20 years. Thanks ArmorCat. Well, hey everybody, Jackson Galaxy here, and man, do I get a lot of questions, and I love it. You know, I do love answering your questions. I think that educating about cats and their needs uh, on a big scale is amazing. On a your scale is even more amazing because it's great to admit that all cats are individuals and they do things differently than every other cat does. Case in point, Daria and her cat, Chizade. Let's see what Daria has to say. Hi, Jackson. I have a question for you. Uh, while my husband is out, uh, our cat really likes to sit on his new chair, but uh, he's a very furry boy, so I covered the chair with blanket. And everything was... He is a very furry boy. That pretty much explains a lot of cats. Everything was great until uh, Cesare was able to get under the blanket accidentally, and he really loved in there. Uh, so now he's constantly trying to, to dig under the blanket. How could I stop this behavior? You know what I love about that is that Daria pans over to Cesare and he's like, <laughs> you mean this? You don't like this? One minute. <laughs> and that is life with animals cut. Anyhow, this gives me a perfect opportunity to tell everybody, Daria, about something that I talk about a lot. It's called the no yes. And that means that you can say no to your cat. It's fine to say no, as long as there's a yes behind it. Here's a case in point if you wanna use a human example. So you have a young child, a young child who is just just driven to take crayons, markers, whatever he or she can get their hands on, and just draw all over the walls. It could be a childhood uh, prodigy Picasso, you never know. Here's the point, it's driving you crazy, then you have to scrub it off. So what do you do? You take away the markers, you take away the crayons, you take away everything. You might even punish your child and ground them, do whatever. But what could be the yes there? The yes is, getting an easel, right? Now your child has something positive to put all that artistic genius into a uh, proper, appropriate place. Same thing goes with Cesare. Bear with me. <laughs> it's a stretch, but it works. Cesare has found this thing that gives him joy. He loves to scratch at this blanket on a chair. He loves to get underneath it. Maybe he loves to camp out under there. That's actually great. We found something that Cesare loves. Unfortunately, it's your husband's chair. So we can say no to that chair. We can, and this is just a training device for the first couple of days or week or whatever, that you can, number one, put a, uh, a placemat, a dinner placemat, and cover it with double-sided sticky tape like Sticky Paws, a, a product like that. And when nobody is on that chair, you put down that pad. Cesare jumps up, it's sticky, it's gross. He's like, eh, I don't wanna be here. He's gone. By the way, we're not putting the blanket on the chair. Remember that, Daria, no blanket on chair stickiness on chair. Or you can use a product like SCAT, which is a compressed air canister with a little electric eye. Every time Cesare jumps up on the chair, just a gentle puff of air. That will just get him to jump off the chair. That way you don't have to do the punishment. You don't have to say, Cesare, get down, because he may get down in that one moment, but then you leave the room and I promise you he'll jump right back up. That's no way to try to train your cat. So once we have that established, we have the no. Where's the yes? Well, the yes is in another chair, right next to that one. That has the blanket on it. That you can sprinkle with a little catnip. That you can put a couple of treats onto. That becomes home base for Cesare. Now he's got a chair, and let's face it, it can be a beater of a chair. It doesn't have to be your, your husband's nice one. You don't have to have twin chairs. But now he has a place in this socially significant area, which your living room really is. He is also laying down scent by scratching on that blanket, letting you and your husband know, hey, this belongs to all of us. We are compadres in this living room because his scent is there. And we wanna keep that mojo alive and well. 
by putting another chair next to your husband's chair. It gives us a yes. The blanket goes on that chair. He gets to scratch at it. He gets to hang out and go underneath it and be a happy Cesare. And you guys can all sit around and, you know, chill and uh, watch some TV and everything. And Cesare's happy, your husband's happy, and I hope you're happy too. So Daria, that's the no yes. It's a very simple idea, but really it works for everybody, whether they're a human or cat, even a very furry boy like Cesare. And today's Cat Mojo rock star of the week, man, this cat deserved it in a big way. This is Leitan, and I'm not gonna pretend I know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna write it down here. And his person, similarly, is Matus, and I can't pronounce that either, so it's right there. But let's talk about Slayton and that amazing jump, a tall building in a single bound brand of cat play. Wow! I mean, wow! That's fantastic. A round of applause for Slayton. Now, if your cat is a rock star, or if you have a question for me, then all you gotta do is send it right here, jacksongalaxy.com forward slash submit. All I ask that you to do is ask me the question and you have a much better chance of either being a rock star or getting your question answered if you shoot your cat doing the behavior that uh, you're happy or not so happy about. Either way, that really increases your chances. So bring it on, you guys. And uh, thank you so much to Daria in Russia. Uh, and hopefully I helped you out there. All light, all love, and all mojo. Until the next time, you guys, Mwah! stay furry. Mm -hmm.